Hi, hello viewers. Welcome to GoFreelance tutorial. Today we are going to see uh, uh, to extract uh, which is the uh, processor that is uh, uh, running uh, more in my uh, CPU. Sorry, my system. Yeah, CPU, whatever. So uh, yes, so this is uh, my uh, system. Okay, I'm using a Dell laptop. So normally I, uh, there is some uh, 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 application that is running in a background or even I'm running currently. So that will uh, consume the process. Yes, it will consume the process depend on the weight. So I want to find out which is the top five or top ten process that um, consuming the more process. So how to achieve this in a C sharp? I'm going to show you today let me go on to write that expression so here i'm using the link pad to write a query so link pad uh, uh, helps us to write some link queue queries and uh, you can play around that this is very helpful tool that you can download and use it so i'm going to show the demo with this okay so i need to get the uh, process first so for that i need to go and find where the process is located yes uh, by using the system diagnostic the process so uh, in the library of system diagnostics so there we, you will get uh, all the process so from there write the query and uh, execute all the stuffs let me go and write the query system dot okay so diagnostic dot process so here uh, uh, we can call the the method called get process great uh, processes okay dot okay so now uh, we get uh, all the process so now I need to uh, find out which is the uh, top uh, mm, five process that is running in my CPU currently so let go on to by order order by descending okay descending by the memory co uh, consumption so let's go on to find that m such that m dot okay uh, by the private memory size 64 so this will uh, helps you which uh, uh, the memory which uh, contains 64 bit so more process which is uh, running so in that uh, go and uh, take a top uh, 5 process that is consuming in my system okay 5 uh, dot select select okay something v such that v dot a uh, process name okay so we are done so let me go and execute and we'll see which is uh, okay there is an issue Oops, uh, this is expression. Okay, well, directly we are executing the expression. Okay, so this is the top 10 process currently running in my system. Let's go and check uh, by using the task manager just to see it's uh, consuming 98 percentage. So, this is this is uh, what the consum consumption is happening over here. So, if you execute so you are seeing uh, SQL Server, Raven and MS Mapping, MS SQL, a link pad so this is one and debit this is my recorder so this is what the player see if it is keep rotating so this is the top process it's keep uh, running so if you see uh, you, you if you select uh, take 5 then the top 5 process which is running you can able to see and if you select 10 you will see uh, almost maximum background running apps in my system because this is my local machine uh, which has uh, 10 maximum so this is what my background process that is running so this is the way uh, to get the your process first uh, normally uh, the process uh, uh, which you get in a C sharp code by uh, system dot diagnostic 
ticks so from this uh, you will get the process of the CPU uh, where this application is located and uh, get all the process and you can order by descending with the private memory size 64 bit it's consuming more it's a maximum level so just order with that and uh, take how many you want so you want to track all the process yes you can apply that and select the process name this is what the process name uh, that is uh, uh, will be run in the background so process name whatever the process name of that application it will come over here hope you understand thanks for watching the video guys if you haven't done queries please comment us please subscribe our channel if you're not subscribed before if you are watching this in a youtube app there is a bell symbol uh, in my channel if you go inside my channel you can see near the subscribe button so if you click that one you will get the regular updates in your mobile in a notification thanks for watching the video guys